Hello and welcome to this guide to brewing the perfect Kilyu. In order to brew the most amazing Kilyu in the world, you need the following items. A brewing bucket, obtainable from the cottage on the island, six packets of sugar, one pack of yeast, and up to 20 bottles of juice concentrate, not for its contents, but for the container. And then you need a vehicle to transport the drinks. I use the van, but the Satsuma works as well. To get started, gather your ingredients and a bucket in the bathroom. At least that's where I do my brewing. Right click on the bucket lid to remove it from the bucket and just drop it on the floor. Then pick up the sugar and yeast and add them one by one to the bucket. Then pick up the bucket and place it underneath the shower tap. Do take care not to stand too close to the water while crouched as you will start drinking and become quite close to exploding your bladder. Wait until the bucket is filled up with water and a brown substance is seen at the top. Once the brown substance appears, quickly place the lid back on the bucket or you might run the risk of developing vinegar. Now that the lid is on, you will hear a bubbling sound. This will last for a few real-life hours, which probably is the same as a few in-game days. Once the bubbling stops, the Kilyu is ready to be bottled. You can tell the Kilyu is ready by the brown substance having moved to the bottom of the barrel. Sometimes the bubbling stops, but the surface of the liquid is still brown. I've found that saving and reloading the game fixes this. I like to bring the bucket out of the van, where I have my empty juice bottles waiting. Simply open the bucket up and hold the bottle in the bucket for a few seconds and it will be filled up. One full bucket of Kilyu fills 20 bottles. Toss it in the van and repeat. It doesn't matter if you don't have enough bottles to empty all the Kilyu in one go. The Kilyu won't go bad, you just have to make more trips. Once the van is full up with delicious kill you, it's time to make our delivery to Juko. Yuko, Yuke, something the friendly drunk. Juko lives not too far from where you do. Take a left towards Lope, and then left once more in the next intersection. Juko's house is the first on the left, and he will be sitting at his garden table between 6 in the morning and 10 in the evening. However, in this save game, I have helped him move to Perayerbi, so I have to go there in order to fulfill the delivery. If you have helped him move, you probably know where to find him, but it's just a left when you enter Perayerbi from the dirt roads, and then down to the apartments. He seems to be on a different schedule here, so he's only around in his house later in the afternoon and early evening. Simply pull up to his house and place the kill you on his table. He will taste test it, and with our perfect match, he'll pay a whopping 170 marks for a bottle. <laughs> At this point, you can put your entire batch on his table and the amount of money in his hand will update. Sometimes the numbers are wrong, but the final amount you get is correct. Congratulations, you've just made a lot of money. In order to save some money and be environmentally sound, the juice bottles can be recycled. After a successful delivery to Juco, the bottles will end up at the landfill. 
Simply take a right after the train tracks when travelling from home and you'll be on your way to the landfill. At the end of the road, take a left and keep on driving. Drive a ways into the landfill and you will find an outhouse along with all the juice or kill you bottles that you sold to Juco. Pick them up and throw them in the van. This is one of the best legal ways to make money in the game, and you'll be earning thousands of marks without having to spend a fortune. I hope you have enjoyed this guide, and I will see you on the roads.